Hi friends, welcome to Tutors Funny Channel. In our last class, we saw the student part. In this class, I am going to teach the teacher's part, right? Let me talk about the how to add the teacher, all the stuff we will teach, okay? How to add the teacher, okay? So let's go to the NetBeans. This is my project. Now here, I, wa I don't want to design the poem again. We, only, we get the copy of the addstudent.jsp, select this addstudent.jsp page, right click, copy, select the web pages folder, right click, paste it. Now here we have changed the rename as, this one should be the teach add teacher. Right, that's it, click OK. Right. Now I am going to change the relevant field, double click and open it, this one, we have to change the things. Here we have to re teacher registration form teachers registration form this one should be add teacher this one should be add teacher teacher details registration number teachers registration number this one should be the teacher name you have to write T name mean teacher's name this name okay teacher name t name sorry this also t name after that this one should be the course we have to make it as this one as a subject what is that subject uh, they teach right subject this one should be subject subject control c to copy control v to paste here after the address phone number others are same right only we have to change only the teacher's name and subject only we have uh, i changed all right this is very simple we have to change others are same right now what i am going to do is here here these are the fields when you click we uh, after fill all the registration number, teachers, uh, name, and subject and address. Click submit button. What I want is, it goes to the action method teach uh, add student dot page, right? Along with the post method. So here the same page it will be redirected. Then it will be getting the all the relevant fields here. So first one should be registration number. Second field is a teacher name, T name, or that this one should be subject. Registration number, T name, control C to copy, control V to paste here. Subject, control C to copy, control V to paste here. Right, form. So the same thing we have right here, registration number. Uh, we have to, uh, we have to create the fields in the database. So we have to write, go to the code here, new, Sorry, teacher. Look right here. One, two, three, four, five. Registration number, REG number. This one should be primary. Teacher num name. subject address address form address should be you have to make it as text as a multi line we will be able to write phone number int phone number int we have right save button right now we have written all the stuff here we have created the table successfully now i am going to add the record so insert into which table i am going to add the record you can see here teachers table so we have to make it as teacher simply so all the field name teacher name You just see the same name you have right here then only the record should be added after that subject subject
for num uh, address for address for that's it these are the fields so one two three four five fields so three five fields are there perfect after that we have to write the the first one should be the registration number second is the d name control c to copy control v to paste here this all the parameters uh, this all the this all the uh, database column which followed by the parameters in the field this is a form fields right so the third one should be the course this is not subject subject control c to copy subject same subject you have to sorry this one should be subject say address control c to copy address so this subject third one should be the subject address form it is all the fields are followed by this instruction mark this course registration number goes here teacher name uh, subject and address and phone number is go is put into the relevant fields after that if you are calling this uh, psd.executor record is added into the database color should be green here we have right teacher added this time teach uh, not student that act successfully teacher had that successfully we will get the message okay that's the thing we have to display simple now you have to this one right now let's what i'm going to do is after that go to the index page we have to link it at teacher we already done here at teacher dot jsp page there's a thing now let's check whether it's working fine or not refresh it it's goes here check it right it's working for okay now your registration number with t the right t uh, 001 teacher's name you have right teacher's name you have right mali subject we have to write here ras java subject address we have to write here india something else i guess phone number like this something click submit button teacher said that successfully now we have to check here click browse it's working well perfectly okay it's working perfectly right now let's go home page it's go to home page successfully it's working perfectly right now instead of click back button uh, when you add the record it simply it will be moving to the home page we will be able to write okay the like this the when you write the remove student.jsp here when you add the record it will be goes here the same code put into here if you like you can put it here after the record record it successfully you can put the message very simple okay All right now what i am going to do is here uh, we did the thing uh, teachers registration successfully after that how to view the teachers details right the same thing student view page this one same page copy select the web pages folder paste it this time right click rename this one should be teacher view teacher click ok double click on this one now we have to change the remaining stuff registration number name subject address form Now what I am going to do is this one should be teacher details. Teacher details. This one should be registration number after the teacher name. Teacher name, subject. Subject. Address form. Write the edit. This one for edit teacher. ID is a registration number. The same thing. 
here also same thing i just copy control c to copy the remove also i have to put it remove sorry remove teacher right that's it now select all from which table i am going to load the uh, data select all from teacher table we have to load the data and fetch the data from the database and we have to pass into the relevant table right this is a simple table we have to pass it here okay very simple code this very simple code we have to pass into the relevant table okay, this is a teacher's table okay very simple now let's see whether it's working fine or not let's let's save all already running the server no problem view teacher uh list oh, okay the problem here i the make the link is a view teacher this one should be view teacher view teacher okay save all goes here refresh it ah it's working perfectly well okay now it's working perfectly well now let's see how to edit and remove the details teacher details very simple uh, this thing we have uh, do it in my next tutorial uh, if you like my channel please subscribe me like me thank you for watching